Hi everyone, my name is Susie. I'm your SI leader for Bio 5B with Professor Reddick's class. Um, today's video, we're going to be talking about deuterostomes and vertebrae. Under deuterostomes, we're going to be focusing on echinodermata and chordata. Echinoderms include sea stars, brittle stars, sea urchins, sand dollars. Um, it's important to know that sea and Anemones, jellies, and friends are cnidarians, not echinoderms. Some general characteristics include um, echinoderms being under deuterostomes and under bilateria. Um, the larvae are bilaterally symmetrical, and adults are not radially symmetrical. Instead, they have a five part body organization. And they are Endo, they have endoskeleton, uh, meaning they have skeleton under the skin. And another thing is that they have a water vascular system, which helps movement and feeding. Um, if you see in this picture, they have what's called a mandroporite, which pulls in and pushes out water. It's connected to the hydraulic canals and reaches out to each tube feet. Next, we're going to be talking about chordates. Um, for key characteristics that chordates have include um, notochord, dorsal hollow nerve cord, pharyngeal slits or clefts, and muscular post-anal tail. So notochord. Notochord is a rod between the digestive tube and nerve cord that provides skeletal support. It's made of fluid-filled cells that surround fibrous tissue. Um, next, we have the dorsal hollow nerve cord. Um, and it's developed from ectotherms, and it develops into central nervous system, like the brain and spinal cord. Third, we have the pharyngeal clefts. Um, these are grooves on the sides of pharynx in chordate embryos. They're developed into slits. Um, two main functions um, include suspension feeding and gas exchange. Um, tetrapods develop into parts of ear or end jaw. And last but not least, we have the muscular post-anal tail. For aquatic species, it provides propelling force. And for vertebrates, it's reduced and is present only during embryonic development. Next, we're going to be talking about vertebrates. And under vertebrates, we have Mexini and Petromyzontida. So general characteristics of vertebrates include um, skeleton with backbone comprised of vertebrae, Neutral crest cells. These are embryonic cells that can develop into teeth, bones, cartilage of skull, neurons, and sensory structures. Third, we have the complex nervous system. Four, having two or more sets of Hox genes. And Hox genes are genes that specify the development of animal body plans. So, um, general characteristics that hagfishes and lampreys have include jawless vertebrates cartilaginous vertebrae, um, but no vertebral column, and notochord that's retained in adults. And these are some differences. Hackfishes, they live in the marine. Um, they're scavengers, bottom feeders, um, and they have anti-predator adaptation. Lampreys, um, they live in marine and freshwater, and most are parasitic. Um, meaning they feed on bodily fluids of other vertebrates. Next, we're gonna be talking about early vertebrate um, evolution. So um, it's divided to four um, basic origins. Um, first one is the origin of skeleton, uh, which includes backbone comprised of vertebrae. Second is the origin of jaws. Third, origin of tetrapods, four limbs, and colonization of terrestrial environment. And fourth, it's the origin of amniotic eggs. And we're going to be focusing on jaws. Um, jaws originated about 440 million years ago, um, and placoderms are the earliest known jawed vertebrates. Um, jaws are evolved from anterior um, gill arches, and it's divided into it's divided into three evolutionary steps, as you see in this picture here. First is jawless state, which lampreys have or had. Um, second is the ancestral gonathostome state, which extinct placoderms have. And third, a derived gonathostome state, which sharks have. 
these are adaptive values that gels have, um, including um, having a more efficient respiration, being able to hold teeth, having anti-predator defense, and the diversification in diet and feed modes. And um, these are some examples, um, herbivory and carnivory. And by 420 million years ago, three lineages, chondrothians, uh, ray-finned fishes, and lobe fins survived. Um, and so that's it for today's video. If you have any questions, uh, make sure to leave it um, in the YouTube comments. And if you guys want more resources, it's always available in the description. Um, we have a Google Drive that has everything you need. And so remember, always stay safe and healthy. And I'll see you guys next time.